Hey everybody, this is Vic from Big Lynn Draws coming at you with an actual vlog video. Um, probably not really pertaining to art in the first bit of this, but I wanted to show you guys some progress on this. And I wanted to thank you guys for all your guys' support, even though there's probably like 13 of you and probably closet 700 of you. But yeah, thanks for the likes and everything. I definitely support, definitely love your guys' support with all of this. And this has definitely helped me um, in the long run. And thank you. Um, what I'm doing in this video is a common unboxing video. Even though I kind of ruined the surprise and trying to be like, hey, this looks great. Yeah, I got bored on the bus. Anyway, I have a few goodies for you. Um, I had gotten a few things from Office Depot. Um, for those artists know exactly what this is, probably um, since it does say printing.officedepot.com. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on and how they look in person. Um, I'm excited because these are part of my tarot deck that I'm working on, the Gamer's Tarot. Um, you guys are going to really like them, I think. I wanted to show off, before I start this actual video video, I wanted to show off what me and my wife had gotten in this little uh, European, it was definitely a Slavic shop, um, like a Slavic grocery store, Eastern European shop, and you know, I found my childhood in there. Um, I don't know if anyone knows what these are, but Kinder, Chocolade, um, it's obviously, I think, Czech or Slovenian or some. If anyone can read this, let me know what language this is. I know it's Eastern European, um, definitely along the lines of like Romania, uh, Slovak, that area. But I grew up with these. Uh, for Kinder Schokolade, Kinder Ei, um, which those who don't know are considered chocolate Kinder Eggs or children's eggs. They used to come in a little thing where basically you would sit there and you would eat the chocolate but then there would be a toy in there and unfortunately here in the United States we kind of ruined the whole thing for everyone thinking that hey you know my kid's so special that they can eat plastic. You guys ruined that for us. But my uncle, he used to bring it all the time, being in the military, he used to always, 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 always smuggle me and my cousin and my ne and my uh, sibling these chocolates that was always that. So this is definitely my childhood here. Um, also, please do forgive me. I kind of, they're supposed to be eight in here. I ate two of them, so now there's only six. I got hungry on the bus too. That's something that I need to work on here, but I promised myself I would do this at one a day. One a day. Because I am getting squishy. <laughs> so dumb. Um, but yeah, no, that actually made my day when I walked into that store. Now, when I had gotten here, even though it was an Eastern European store, I found Ritter Sport, which is a German chocolate at Alpenmilch. It's a Alpen, meaning Alps or Alpine, and then Milch being milk, so Alpine milk. Um, basically, it's just milk chocolate, and it's just absolutely stunning because, you know, like, everyone's like, oh, German chocolate tastes the same as American chocolate. No, it doesn't because American chocolate is way too waxy, and this has a taste of hazelnut. I don't know what the hell you're smoking, but it definitely, don't bastardize my German chocolate because this is something that I hold very here and dear to my heart, thank you. Probably shouldn't do that because it'll melt. But my wife, she found this as well. And, you know, she was like, Vic, what does this say? And I was like, Knus, Knusperflakes mit Knusperingen Cornflakes. Um, basically, it's like a cornflake, um, like a Rice crispy to those in America. You know what that is. Um, it's basically like a chocolate with a Rice crispy or with a cornflake type texture. It's absolutely amazing. Um, again, it's it's funny because everyone's like, ooh, it tastes the same. No, it's practical. It even says on the thing, practice it and good. Or kadre, kadratish, practice und gut. I agree. Um, and then she of course found this here, which is white chocolate and milk. Um, it would be Kuflecken Happy Cow. Kuflecken. The frolicking cow, which that actually makes me so happy because again, it says I've been missed. I'm Hasanuch, 
Und ähm, es schmeckt mir sehr gut. Ähm, es macht mir froh. Und es ist sehr süß, aber es ist nicht wie die amerikanische äh, Schokolade. Und es macht mich so viel froh. Es macht mich so froh. And that's today's German lesson. But yeah, today definitely was worth it. Um, if you're in the Las Vegas area, definitely check it out. It's down on Rainbow. Um, it's over by the Zen Curry. It's like literally right next door, which is down on Robindale and Rainbow. Um, it's pretty amazing. And literally, the four of these, it did send me back about $10, but that's a lot cheaper than like four Hershey's bars that are king size. This is so much, well, Technically, she bought this and she bought this, throwing it at me. I brought two of, two of these and two of these. So, and I ended up throwing them at her. So, <laughs> technically, this might be a little bit cheaper than what it would have been. But honestly, I think it's definitely worth the price. Considering that this was my childhood, um, it was definitely something that I grew up tasting. And this is definitely something that I hold very near and dear to my heart. And as an artist, I tend to chew on things when I work on things. So, God knows, I'm going to be throwing these in the freezer because if I don't, I'm going to end up eating these all in one night. All the piece de la resistance, 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 eh, piece de la resistance. I wanted to show you guys. Uh, again, I went to Office Depot slash Office Max. Um, this is right down Rainbow as well, down the Las Vegas area. Um, I had gotten five of these, um, seeing as there's five uh, prints made or five uh, of the arts done. Um, see, it was a prepaid order. Shit, really? It sent me about, back about five bucks, which is not bad considering it's like a buck a print. Um, meaning that if you're selling these at a con, you would be able to go ahead and uh, work with them or if you're working at a con you'd be able to definitely make all of your money back if you sell any So definitely I suggest going to them. Honestly very very pleased with these except for a few but that's okay I'm not really that hurt about it because I know I should have made them a little bit bigger um, I'll probably redo them before I sell them obviously, but I'll probably keep the ones I have that are smaller because they're fit for the tarot size cards, but the first one that let me show you this one first. Um, it was the oh god, what was it? Death, the death card. Um, I had done Lavender Town, which you can see all of these in their speed paints down below. Um, definitely click. Um, but yeah, no, this was definitely one of the first ones I had done. Um, I did it for the size of the tarot card, which if you see in the back, you can see the gas lace and everything. Um, it's just a little pixelated because again, that was my fault. Um, I made it to where um, you could basically only see it if it was shrunken down. So on the card, it'll look fine. It's just blown up. I'll have to redo this. That way it looks better in a more poster type setting. And of course, unfortunately, these do have the borders to them, which of course I'm probably going to have to cut off just so we could have a solid print um, for my book here. This one I did for a friend. Um, they suggested for the Wheel of Fortune to have it as Kingdom Hearts. Again, it's a little pixelated just because I put it in the smaller frame, um, but that's okay. Um, it actually will look a lot better, I believe, when it comes to the when it comes to the uh, selling of the tarot cards. Again, I'll probably go through the deck, no problem, once they're all completely finished. But I love how this kind of glossed over makes them look more like cards. Um, especially that one, that one's a little smaller. Um, it definitely helps a lot more um, showing me what which is which. Next one doesn't actually have the speed paint to it, but I did do this for the Empress. Um, the Empress is Toriel in this deck from, from Undertale. I really enjoy how her hands look in this. This was actually a big accomplishment for me. Um, I also love the fact that the uh, brick wall as well as everything kind of looks like it does belong in the game and absolutely I am very proud of this and this will definitely make it into the next game as well as a print I'll just have to redo it because again I made it super small um, just to fit on the card so it is a little pixely but that's totally okay um, I can definitely fix that with no problem this one this one is not the cleanest but it looks phenomenal I would sell this as a print in a heartbeat 
it's getting better. Um, this is the ever famous Jacksepticeye Reigns card. Um, this is going to be the Chariot. Just because you have control of the cards, you have control of your future type thing. Um, this definitely fits the cake, especially uh, Jack making a cameo. Um, on the top here it says, Top of the morning to you laddies! My name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to Reigns! Not Reigns, as in what happens in Ireland all the time. That's actually my favorite line from him. Sorry Jack, if you see this and you're like, Oh my god, you can't even do- <laughs> No, you're my favorite YouTuber when it comes to um, games as well as all the likes. So this was, I was hoping to actually make the deck and then eventually give a pack to Jacksepticeye, to Lucachen, to Markiplier, to PewDiePie, whoever goes to these uh, to PAX East next year. Um, my wife and I will be leaving from Las Vegas, so we'll be uh, moving out, but I'm actually a huge fan of how this turned out. This actually looks really good, even like from poster standards. I would totally put this on my wall, so I might actually put this on my wall. The cleanest, which is going to a friend of mine, and it has the least, so I'm actually really proud of this, um, was the one that I did last night. It was the, uh, the Emperor from, I'm so sorry, I forget the name, holy crap, Katamari. I love how clean this looks, I love how the shading came out really well, I love how the rainbow blends like it should, it's just, it looks so good with the gloss. And I had gotten this gloss finish so it would look really nice, and oh my god does it ever, thank you! Um, I love how the colors are super rich on this, um, the galaxy colors definitely pop as well. Um, the stars look really good, the gradients, everything are really, really good. So this is definitely something that I'm really proud of, most definitely. I think that's all for today. Um, I know this is a really short video, but I want to do at least one haul video for this week. Um, keep a lookout, I'm going to go ahead and keep making videos every day this week. Yeah. I'll have to get that going, huh? We'll see what happens. Um, we'll see if I can actually pull that off. Um, but I want to definitely get a few videos made first. That way I can go ahead and just slowly keep building and building and building. That way I can go ahead and keep this flow going. I really like this flow. But yeah, no. Definitely, if you like my art, if you like what I'm doing, I'm taking... For the tarot deck, actually, I am taking uh, people's suggestions for the Minor Arcana. Um, the next one I'll be doing will be the Five Nights at Freddy's card, which of course is the tower, um, considering that is absolute doom. I kind of want to draw a whole, like, Nightmare Fred Bear's Pizzeria type thing for the tower. Um, so definitely keep a lookout for that. That will be coming up soon. If you have a suggestion for the Minor Arcana, um, just let, letting you guys know that there are certain suits. Um, swords are going to be based off of horror games. Um, I'll be having YouTubers that are basically f are known for that are basically known for uh, the horror genre, such as Markiplier, PewDiePie, um, Razbowski, so on and so forth, as my knight, my queen, my page, my king, that sort of thing. And then all the games that fit the type of genre, uh, the horror genre, will be in in swords. In Cups will be RPG slash simulator, such as like Sims, uh, Goat Simulator, um, Hunt for Boyfriend, that sort of thing. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some suggestions for that. It's supposed to be like joyous, giving, taking type feel. Um, so that's something that I definitely want to work with. Wands is supposed to be strategy. No particular reason other than the fact that you can hit someone over the head with a wand or with a stave or a... <laughs> a stick and you'll be okay. You can point with a stick and go strategy. So ta-da! I'm pointing at a stick, which is a map, sir. We'll go with that. Um, and then also for, for coins, I thought it would be a cute little treat to have um, those who are into arcade games like Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Galactica, Centipede, those types of things that you would find literal coins for Mario, Sonic, that sort of thing, um, where you'll be able to go ahead and insert coins for the coin cards, which are often shown as pentacles. So anyway, that's my story. I wanted to go ahead and do a vlog vlog this time, and 
I'll see you guys next time. Remember, if you like my content, like, share, subscribe. I definitely appreciate comments, likes, um, definitely subscribing helps. That way we can go ahead and get this all rocking and rolling. Thanks guys. Bye.